Hello everybody, Azumi here with Fubuki Strikes 8 Star Multi Solo. First up I'm running Wanderer Port with the Fortune Hammer and Feather Blade for healing and then these two for the damage up against Airborne as well as the Earth damage to get rid of those crystals as quick as possible. Next is going to be Gem God Yord with her X and then the other version of it staggered off because of stone skin and sure shot for two turns so if both of those proc then i will have that up full time and the combat fan which is just a decent weapon all around and has counter attack um third is going to be osiris with a sacred wood blade a feather blade for healing and then the same two i've been running Fourth is going to be Bugmaster Keely with a lot of earth damage and her Halloween costume because why not? And because the game forces me to have her all the time, gives me a lot of her, Bubble Blaster Sobel. Might as well put her to use somewhere, right? So here we go. Snow Princess Fubuki is in the ranged row, so and all four crystals are too, so if you hit anything that hits a row damage, it will hit all of them at one time, which is a good tactic to use. She is considered Therian and is airborne. Her action skill is Silver Snow, and that is a 150% water attack damage and freeze for three turns to the three farthest enemies as well as fire wound and burn resistance 100% up for three turns to herself. Freeze applies only to humans and Therians. Her action skill is going to be water attack damage and freeze for three turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Freeze applies to humans, Therians, Yotuns, and beasts. Additionally, at 8 star, they're going to have Mist Field, which is active in the 2nd and 3rd HP bars. So, bring your Mist Field characters, or you're going to miss a lot, and then it's going to be a pain. Um, the most effective elements are going to be Earth, but if you need filler weapons for that, Fubuki herself is pretty weak to Dark. So, keep that in mind, but the Earth... The dark damage is going to be hard to get rid of the crystals that way. Again, steer clear of using humans, Therians, Yotun, and Beast. The closest set of crystals to Fubuki will give her buff swipe for three turns, as well as one random stat 50% down for two turns to all of your allies. And the possible stat debuffs you can get are attack and magic attack. The outer set of crystals gives you uh, hits with water attack damage and slow for three turns to all enemies and the slow effect applies to all grounded enemies. So all your grounded heroes are going to get slowed. Get rid of those outer crystals as quick as possible then you don't have to deal with that. As well as they also give the aqua field at 7 star and the high aqua field at 8 star. And some other good heroes to use for this fight are going to be Awakened Volley. She has Therian Killer, which makes her pretty great for this. Um, if you need a healer, you can use Noah or Erd. Um, Valkyrie Harist works fairly well. You can use Camille as a tank. Um, Sorcerer Gliffy works pretty well. I'm not sure how you say that name. But you can also use Walpurgis and the Sloth Scion. As well as I've even tanked it with Sangrid before. So, and the earth damage Sangrid does is actually fairly well for this. So we're about done here. Not much else to say. Um, the snow staff that you can get for farming up her tokens is actually really well as a starter equipment. So, you know, get a couple of those. They hit the back row with slow effect. It's not too bad. And we're almost done. Come on, come on. Another hit or two. There we go. Uh, we'll check out how much uh, combined damage it took to kill her. I had a minute and 49 seconds left. And I did almost 5 million damage. So there you go. That's it for this. Thank you for watching.